Hey Gratitude Seeker, welcome to day 21 of the 30 days of Thanksgiving daily experience. Did you know that on November 19th is the International Men's Day? I, I didn't know that and uh, it's funny that it usually goes by unnoticed. I don't know if it's the same in the States, in Australia, UK or other parts of the world. But here at least nothing actually happens. While some people argue that uh, Men's Day is every day, I think celebrating the masculine is important as well. Of course, women give birth, they take care of children and love them, they nurture, they educate. But this world has been created as a duality. Night and day, man and woman, left and right. And I think it's better to balance things out and to celebrate not just women but men as well. And so for today I would love us to think of at least one man in our life that we really appreciate and that can we can really give thanks to just as i was recording this episode i saw outside a worker a man at work that was dressed of course in in his working gear and uh, was entering a building in order to solve a problem of some kind and um, he was just moving his tools from uh, from his car to the building and I was thinking about all of the efforts that our fathers made in order for them to support the family I know my father is really hard working and even now even though he is over 65 years old and he is retired he still has a job and he is still working and many times he's working after hours because he wants to help people and also to to bring in more money home he does repairs for the central heating systems of personal homes of schools of institutions and many times people especially in this period they're left without central heating which means that uh, until he gets there to fix things they have to wait in the cold and I can only imagine how that can be especially when you might have young children that are sensitive to these kinds of situations I'm giving you this example to show my gratitude to to my father but also to maybe inspire you to think in a certain way about your own father and about his own sacrifices for the good of the family. Or maybe you can be thankful for your grandparents. For instance, one of my grandparents has been a prisoner a prisoner of war and he has been taken to Russia where he has has been through really harsh experiences before getting back back home and being able to once again take care of the family. Think about the things that they have been through for you to have the life that you have today and use this podcast episode as a reason to let them know that you appreciate them. Maybe you do this constantly, maybe you never did this before, but maybe this is a sign, (laughs) a reason to appreciate, to give thanks within your own being, and if you feel like doing this, to actually let them know. And I almost forgot about another important part the man in your life, your husband, your boyfriend, 
What do you appreciate about them? What are the things that make you feel blessed when you think about the fact that you are in a relationship or in a marriage with this man? Maybe even write it down and leave them a note saying something that Honey, I appreciate this, this and this about you. Or if you forgot or you didn't know that such a thing as uh, International Men's Day exists, you can make them a surprise one way or another. You can do all kinds of things to make him feel appreciated and to know that he is appreciated. And there is this quote that uh, says something like this. A person who feels appreciated will always do more than is expected. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Share it with your friends. Maybe they didn't know about this uh, International Men's Day either. And just let the men in your life know that they are appreciated. I think it's really important and it might actually make their day. Thank you so much for listening and don't forget to keep seeking gratitude.